my afternoon is threatening to run away. <laughs> so I figure I better get my live broadcast done now, as I promised yesterday, or else it ain't gonna happen. If this is your first time ever catching one of my live broadcasts, straightening things. My name is Erica R. Meyer of ReframeAndStoryMeditation.com. I help women entrepreneurs reduce stress, worry, and anxiety through the power of positive storytelling. If you don't know what ReframeAndStoryMeditation.com is, I'm putting the website in the comments. You can go check it out. It is a very non-traditional meditation subscription service. 10 minutes or less. It is intended to just give you a positive jolt to your week, to feed your mind with positivity, with um, kind of nice positive stories to help you to reframe things, <laughs> to help you to take positive action, inspire you to take positive action, that kind of thing, that kind of thing. I started a series called The Story Behind the Story because each week subscribers receive a brand new story meditation from me via email. I drop them in a brand new location, a brand new scene, a brand new story every single week. And I decided to begin a series about how I was inspired to write certain story meditations. And this one that they received this past Monday was called Car Repair. I told you that this was non-traditional. Non-traditional, a meditation called car repair. Yes, yes. Um, the whole point of the meditation itself was to kind of illustrate how a series of events that are can like really upend your day, that are kind of annoying, that are kind of just frustrating, um, car breakdown and and the like, or an, and in the story, the listener is guided through being involved in a, in a wreck, a minor one, no one was hurt in the meditation, <laughs> um, that caused them to get their vehicle basically out of their commission for you know a few days. And so they had to get a loaner car from the dealership and that loaner car ended up being a Camaro because they had no other <laughs> other cars available. So it was a meditation that kind of took you through a process where something that was a non-traditional um, or an atypical loaner car um, led you to find something that you were desperately needing in your life at that moment, in your business at that moment. Um, if you want to know those details, you would have to subscribe to reframeitstorymeditation.com to hear the story. But the key element in that story was a Camaro. And I, I don't own a vehicle now. My husband and I sold our vehicles before we relocated to San Francisco because you don't need one here. Um, we do all of our transportation via things like Uber and Lyft and walking. <laughs> so um, we haven't owned a car in five years, which has been quite lovely actually. Um, but from the year, the years of, I think it was 1999, to 2007, I owned a Camaro and I drove a Camaro. And I have, I do, when I think about it, it was a very like, ah, I miss it. I do miss that particular vehicle. Um, I got it at a steal, brand new, mind you. Um, I traded in at the time a paid off, it was my parents, <laughs> my paid off Toyota Camry and was able to get at the end of the day that Camaro with the trade-in for 10 grand. Thank you very much. But anyway, I had a memory. It was just so bizarre. Um, I had dr driven up to a convenience store when I was still, you know, the owner of that car. And it was, um, it wasn't even a pretty color. <laughs> it was this strange color. It was called, I don't even remember what it's called now but it was kind of like a, a gray brown. It was kind of weird. But anyway, I was at a convenience store and a man walked out and he looked at it and he's just like, I love this car. You should never sell it. Don't ever sell it. It'll always go up in value. It is, I mean, this is just great. And mind you, I had the, like the basic model. 
There was nothing fancy inside this vehicle. I had the roll-up windows and everything. It was all manual stuff. It, said it was an automatic vehicle, but it was everything else manual, okay? Um, but he said, you know, you should never get rid of the car. Of course, in 2007, I traded it in for another Camry, but whatever. Um, but it was that memory and just kind of randomly once in a while when I see Camaros on the road, um, I just am reminded about what it was, you know, my ownership of one back in the day um, and just loving it. It's a, it was a fun car to drive and it was just, I just adored it. Um, and it was, again, that memory that, that prompted me to, I'm like, I'm going to come up with a story of meditation that is around car repair and like use that particular car as an element to bring the listener to an end result that has been proven to be like a frustrating journey for them. They are seeking something and it's been frustrating because they haven't found it. And it was because of the Camaro that they find it. So again, you'd have to go to reframe my story meditation and subscribe to the service and listen to the story itself. But it was a fun little tool, fun little detail um, to do that. Hey, Jessica. Hey girl. Hey. Um, so anyway, so anyway, um, it was just that memory once in a while, you know, I'm inspired by, you know, people that I may see on the street or, something, an element out of my own book or something like that, that, you know, various things can inspire a story meditation. And this has just happened to be just a random memory of a man telling me I should never sell my Camaro, which of course I did, <laughs> but whatever. Maybe one day in the future I'll have another, but I don't have a need for one now. Anyway, if you have any questions about the service, reframe it, storymeditation.com. Um, I should be back later on this week, hopefully with another series that I'm gonna start called Reframe of the Week. This is kind of like a repackaging of what I used to do. I used to do a Life Annoyance of the Week where um, I talk about something that was annoying and how I reframed it. I am repackaging it to be called Reframe of the Week because that's always a fun thing. <laughs> so you guys have an amazing Tuesday and happy reframing. Bye guys.